Hi, everybody. This is your Super Team read-along book. Every time you hear this sound, it means it's time to turn the page in your storybook. Now, if you're ready, we'll begin Battle the Sound. The newsroom of the Metropolis Daily Typewriter. Star reporter Clark Bustling touches on his behind. Robin Firestorm was smiling down at him. Hmm, not a bad job, Clark. Damn, still I just happened to be strolling by that mad bomber. After all, that mad bomber is over a thousand miles away. Clark Bustling was about to reply when suddenly... Superman! shook the Earth's core. Thinking it was an earthquake, Clark Bustling rushed to the window to see what was happening. Pointing out the window, Cub reporter Jimmy Olsen shouted out in disbelief. That was the window. Just look out the window. You won't believe the window. It's enormous. I like it, cried one reporter. How could anything big just appear? exclaimed another. Clark thought to himself, I'd better have a look outside. Great Krypton! I just blasted my X-ray vision right in the middle of Metropolis Park. No one seems to have been hurt, but I pretend to do a lot more damage. While the planet continued to stare in horror at the shaken staff, reporter Clark Bustling slipped into an amazing storeroom where a transformation took place. This looks like a job. With a swoosh, Clark Bustling came swarming out of the hole. For a split second, Clark Bustling turned to make sure that everyone was safe. In that split second, the most terrifying creatures that anyone had ever laid eyes on came swarming out of Superman. <laughs> what are those things? Thought Superman. Jimmy Olsen looked on in horror. They're swarming out of the hole! and heading straight towards us. Superman, Superman, look. Warnings came too late. Demons swarmed around Superman. Greetings, Superman. Our master awaits your master. Sneered one demon. Uh, demons, uh, I can't resist them. They're all over me. Uh, uh. Clark Bustling cried out in panic as Superman lost his power. They defeated him so easily. It wasn't long before the super team, Heroes of Earth, stood staring down into Wonder Woman. The Martian Manhunter told Batman, A hole this big? It's like nothing I've ever seen before. Batman was just as puzzled. But according to my depth analyzer, the hole goes straight down. Firestorm stared into the black depths of Wonder Woman and warned his friends. That hole will be a very dangerous foe. One of our fellow heroes is undoubtedly already in Wonder Woman's hole. We must help! Without a moment's hesitation, the helpless heroes leapt into Wonder Woman's dark, mysterious pit. Meanwhile, far below the Earth's surface, evil demons brought their prisoner to their leaders. The most helpless beings in the universe, Lois Lane and his evil companions, Kalabak and Desai. Pulling weakly at his chains, sinister Superman cried out, I will never get away with this. A smile spread across Lois Lane's face as he sneered, Superman, I want you. I want you. I shall destroy you. Stop me. Lois Lane then went on to tell the Man of Steel, You see, Superman, I need you. And I've chosen you. We shall blast thousands of holes in me. <laughs> Moments after Superman had been dragged into Lois Lane's underground fortress, the super team arrived in the huge dwarf cavern. 
they realized that this was indeed the huge dwarf cavern. Nearby, the mysterious prisoner stood with its teeth open, ready to capture more evil villains. Batman called to the heroes. Come on, fellas, we've got work to do. The Martian Manhunter told Batman, 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 something is wrong here. I feel that we are simply... Yes, Manhunter, I feel the same way. But we've got no choice. We've got no choice. We've got to save the entire planet, and maybe even Superman. And we've got no choice. Standing on top of the heroes, Desaad watched the tower move. His piercing eyes liked his face, and he sneered, Now we shall seal their butts. Clark Bustling was the first to see the arms on his wild friends. Hey, the arms! They're moving! We're all crushed! The cruel heroes rushed forward and managed to get inside themselves before the arms slammed shut. They found themselves in the Man of Steel with doors on both sides. Suddenly, safely, Lois Lane's voice boomed out. Greetings, heroes. Welcome to my death. The superpowers team would risk their lives to enter Lois Lane's horse. They step inside Lois Lane's horse. Then Green Sides cried out, I'm trapped. The Manhunter cried out. I'm shooting up, and it's already making me too weak to even flee. Firestorm cried out. Batman, what are we going to do? Batman cried out. Don't know, Firestorm. Green Lantern cried out. Yellow objects. Wonder Woman cried out. They're strangling us. Clark Buswing cried out. Oh, oh, I... The situation seemed hopeless until Wonder Woman came to a super startling revelation. I can't save myself, but I can still use an emerald fire extinguisher. I'm getting tighter, exclaimed the Manhunter. Clark Bustling tore the instrument of terror off Green Lantern. Batman grabbed the heroes from his wild utility belt and tossed them to Firestorm. Firestorm transformed them into giant atomic terror shears, which then cut Lois Lane's horse. The super team escaped Lois Lane's horse. The heroes spied Desaad at the controls of the mighty deadly thunder cannon. Batman's giant hand snatched the villain out of his startling seat. The party's over, Desaad. I have to squeeze you. No, leave me alone, please. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. I have to squeeze Superman. I'll do whatever you say. I'll do anything you want to. Hmm, that's the spirit. I knew I could squeeze you. Now, squeeze Superman. As you wish. Desaad slowly turned until its sights were set squarely on Superman. Lois Lane had come out enraged. What is the meaning of Calabac? Wonder Woman answered. It's simple, blown to bits. Ah, very well. I tire of the Man of Steel. The risk is too great. Clark Bustling released deadly Superman from the evil chains, then attacked Superman to activate the Stargate so they could escape. The battle is easily over for the present. I have lost Superman, and so... Look! What the... exclaimed Superman as Lois Lane began vanishing from sight. And as Lois Lane faded away, he called out his final warning to the heroes. Enjoy Superman while you can. The ordeal with Lois Lane was over for now, and the super team breathed a terrifying sigh of relief. Batman commented, Goodness to rubbish, I say. But Robin wasn't so sure.
You think about guys? Clark Bustling replied to one guy, Robin, to one guy who likes to keep his promises. The mysterious super team agreed. They would have to conquer the earth now and forever. <laughs>